feel like Chad is doing my job for me. They're just writing all the season six plots. Uh, we're going to wrap up early here tonight after the shooting phase. But as you know, Christmas is a time when we punish all of our friends and family for being our friends and family, forcing them to stand near each other and watch terrible movies and listen to bad music. Rad looks confused by this. <laughs> I just wanted to say that some people skip introductions and I wanted to give them a moment to punish them for doing that by doing a second introduction phase by asking, what is Christmas to you? Some people are eating, so I'm going to skip over to Pondo. Pondo, what is Christmas to you? It's a time where you get together with family. That's it? That's all you believe about Christmas? I mean, that could, that could be said about someone's funeral. That's a time when you get together with someone's family. It for you a don't... case of not of sadness. So you believe that Christmas isn't sad? I don't think Christmas is sad. Okay. Unless there was someone that recently died in your family. Then it might be a little bit sad. Cotton, what's Christmas to you? It's time to come together with your family and spread joy. And, uh, you know, I'm a religious person, so it also has religious significance to me. Uh, Rad, your headphone seems to be partially on. Yes, I am here. I am paying attention to this conversation. Well, I knew I'm that. I, just I am didn't... fully engaged. I didn't know if you were also engaged in some, you know, family stuff at the same time. Uh, always. Always. My okay. wife is, is like, a foot and a half off camera right now, just staring at me, and has been for, like, 30 minutes. And I don't know why. <laughs> I feel like... You want to I'm talk to trouble. her real quick? I'm not really. No, I, she's not saying anything to <laughs> you me. Close she's that just camera cover. staring just... at me. She goes back and forth between staring at me and staring <sighs> at Cotton's cat. And that's it. It's been going on for a long time now. It's, it's weirding me out a little bit. I feel like this is something you should solve. But in the I don't meantime. Know if a, I don't know if I could solve it because I'm, I don't even know if it's a problem. <laughs> um, what is Christmas to me? What is Christmas to you? I largely echo the sentiment of Cotton and Pondo. Um, Christmas is a time to uh, revel in your uh, acquaintances and family that are important to you. It's a little bit of a pre-New Year's, uh, be grateful for uh, what you have, I guess pre-New Year's, post-Thanksgiving, right? All three of these holidays, kind of the same thing to me. I grew up, um, I have a very large extended family and uh, Thanksgiving time and Christmas time for me were always really important because those were the times of year when we got the whole, you know, I have, when when my aunts and uncles and first cousins get together and my dad's side of the family, there are 25 of us. Um, so those, this is really the only time of the year where we would all get together and uh, do stuff together. So for me, um, Christmas is all about uh, spending time with your family and, you know, catching up with, because uh, really my cousins are a lot like siblings to me. So catching up with all my extended siblings that I don't get to see as often as I would like and talking shit about the ones that are, you know, losers or whatever. Uh, it's an important time of year that I enjoy very much. Um, my wife does not feel as strongly about Christmas as I do um, because we grew up in two different worlds. But uh, yeah, so... My wife is very much like a bah humbug person, and I'm very much like a, uh, you know, elf from the Will Ferrell movie. So, so there's an interesting contrast in my home, pretty much at all times during the holiday season. She's like, "Are we even gonna? Are we even gonna celebrate Christmas? Can we just get our children to believe that, that there's no such thing, and everyone else is an idiot for even pretending that there's something going on during the winter time?" Uh, I'm like, "No, no, we can't." The only part of Christmas she likes is the decorating part. That's it. It's the only part. That's all. She, she doesn't want to see anybody or talk to anybody or do fucking presents or any of that dumb bullshit. She's like, we're just, we're just going to decorate the house. Which really is just, I'm going to decorate the house. That's usually what it boils down to. She's still staring at me. So I'm just going to stop talking at this point. I think I'm done. Sid Alpha. Christmas for me is a day off. Nice. <laughs> At least from the day job. Usually I do manage to put out a video on Christmas because I don't really have anything else going on. Um, I've never really been all that big on socializing with the family. I'll be the first to admit that 
there are certain members of my family I don't really care for. I'm shocked to hear that. Yeah. I love my parents. My parents are awesome, but they're not going to be around for this Christmas. Um, so basically just be me and my daughter. Um, so we'll have, I'll make sure that she enjoys hot cocoa and her presents and make sure that she has a fun time. But for me, it's more just about getting a chance to chill for a bit. Very well. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, some shooting was happening. Pew, pew, pew. Uh, Eve, that I want initiative, so you guys shoot first. I can throw out my misses real quick. Red. Absolutely, please. Uh, what will you be shooting at towards which target? Uh, what will you be firing... shooting with towards which target? Uh, firing on the Hellbringer. Absolutely. It is at... For some reason, my scroll wheel isn't working as well as it can. Uh, same thing, UAC 20 in ultra mode and three uh, medium pulses. God, I don't want this AC 20 to hit so bad. I know, right? Problem is, I'm rolling for tens with it. Ugh. Gross. So, UAC 20 shot. Oh, before we get to that, oh. I believe it's uh, oh. after the movement phase, I want to declare I'm putting a point into the pool of using artillery. Okay. You need at least two points paid in in order for the artillery to start. Okay. Would anyone else like to put artillery yeah, points in? Pointing. Very well. Uh, at the beginning of the next round, the artillery barrage will begin. And can we keep putting points into that? Or is it up this, to this five? Is yes. Down? Okay. Well, I mean, after it starts. Yes. And as each point is another round that it does. Up to five. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, medium pulse one hits. Uh, that's seven in the left leg. Not exactly where I wanted to hit it. Did you miss with your AEC 20? Yep. <laughs> I rolled sneak eyes on the cluster roll anyway. <laughs> I mean, just getting it once would have been nice. Mm -hmm. uh, that is a miss with laser number two. That is a miss with laser number three. I've done a total of 14 points of damage so far this combat. Mm, that's unfortunate. Nice, nice. Uh, let's see here. Pondo's four hexes away, which is probably going to some short range mastery here. Except for your machine guns. That's actually, you should I don't have machine guns. Which one are you shooting me with? The dire wolf. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. No, that's um, Maybe fun times for me. Ultra AC 20 on ultra mode. So mm -hmm. two, three for rain, four for walking, five, six, seven. Um, what are you shooting me with? That's what I'm working out now, now that I know what I'm shooting. Birds, AC-20 in ultra mode, three mm -hmm. large pulse lasers. Mm-hmm. Uh, SRM six. Interesting. So I'm shooting seven five 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 nine. No. That's the one I wanted you to miss. Center torso hit. And? Large pulse laser, yeah. Okay. Center torso hit. That's a miss. I need a five. Oh, that's right, okay. Left arm. Okay. Miss. Uh, and I, 48, 49, three points of heat. God, I think we lost you. On the tabletop, yeah, 
Yes. It froze. Hold on. Okay. I'm just waiting for it to like redo it. Okay. You guys are up. Hmm. Right, do you want to go? Sure, I'll go. I should just. Uh... You know, I guess, Pondo, what I could say about your position right now is don't stand. Don't stand so. Don't stand so close to me. I wish he was just a little bit closer. Um, so I'm a two. I jumped for one. Is I would say it's you're raining. at least a seven, seven and a half. Raining for thank you. It's a, uh, raining for. You may lose count with your. <laughs> See, it's raining I for don't four. get plot points. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> um, so it's raining for four. I'm shooting into his woods for five, right? Uh, who's the target? The Hellbringer? Yes. And what is his movement? Zero. Nothing? Okay. So fives? Am I really shooting at fives? That's awesome. I mean, you're... Before, we were shooting through lots of woods at, like, long you're range. Now six. we're at short to medium range. All right, well, I'm shooting both AC-10s. Did, on did you remember of... rain? Yes, that's five. Okay. Five you was rain. You should be shooting for six. Why? Two, you jump. I'm a three. two. I Rain jumped for three. Four. Rain makes it four. Medium range, which is. Oh, I am at medium range. You're right. Five, six. And then the tree makes it seven, actually. No, it's, that's a. Uh, two, four for range. Five for jump. One for. Yeah, no, it is seven. Thank you. Thank you for, 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 thank you for confirming my ability to add. Yes. Uh, two, <laughs> two adding ultras is hard. in ultra, <laughs> and uh, adding is hard once they start adding letters to it. Okay. I'm gonna throw in a medium X pulse laser, Arthur's favorite weapon. That's gonna bring me to sixteen. You weren't 20, even there for the conversation I had with James about the X pulse. I was like, who taught him this? I didn't teach him this. James, did you teach him this? He was like, I didn't. I was like, I did, I never taught my son to do this. I'm embarrassed as his father. And I'm also going to shoot a medium laser and a small laser, even though the small laser is out of range and the medium laser is... Oh, no, actually, I'm not. I'm not going to do those things. I'm just shooting the two ultras in ultra and one medium X-Pulse. Sure. I'm sure keep, tr keep uh, track of that ammo there, Gunslinger. I am. Okay. All right. We should run out really quickly. Here we go. First weapon. Sure, you uh, don't need first... to go talk to your wife? I don't know anymore <laughs> if I... I don't even know what's happening right now. First weapon is six. That's miss. Uh, second ultra shot is a seven. That's a hit. It does not double hit, though. Tens it does do torso. ten damage to the center torso. Um, the hellbringer. Yes. And then a X pulse laser uh, does not hit. Man, two misses by one. That's brutal. Yeah. It's Very well. Uh, I shall fire Hellbringer into them, their avatar. Three, four, five, uh, six. Seven, eight. Nine for the rain. I included that before. Oh, okay. That was three, four, five. Okay. Uh, targeting laser is going to bring everything down to seven to start with. Fire. Two ERPPC. Sure, it's not four. I'm sure that's the other one. No. Well, mm. Mm. I'll fire one ERPPC and three medium lasers. Okay. Let's miss. Uh, 
medium laser? Right torso, uh, yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Seven. Uh, it's a headshot. No critical. I can't spend a... I used my point of... Thing wow, that's, to, uh, that's unfortunate. Um... That's fine. Yeah, and then that's a center torso through armor critical, but no critical on it. So what was the... What did you hit me in the head with? Medium laser. Okay. Oh, thank God. <laughs> uh, so your pilot will take one point of damage. What was the last weapon to hit me in the center torso? Medium. How many lasers? Three. I had a trio of medium lasers. That was four okay. rolls. Okay. Uh, I build 31 points of heat, which means I bump myself up another five into some problem zones. Okay. Minus two to hit, plus one to shoot. That's the end of that guy. Can... I don't know if Cotton can see. Well, I guess he could. She could see that guy. Which is. guy? The Hellbringer. Oh yeah. Yep. No cover. Just the Only tree at the one end. One tree, right? Yes. Then it should be eight, because I start with three. One for the rain. One for his tree. One for I walked, and then two for medium range. You didn't move this round. I moved. I moved. You walked. Or something. That's why I didn't add his. It's only an eight. So I'll shoot my Goss and my two PPCs. Well, yikes. But okay. All at eight, so there's a good chance I won't hit. The Goss is first. And it misses. And then here's one PPC. Yep. That hits. Hey. See right leg. Uh it's internal. It's ten. Oh, then it's not eternal. Sorry. Um, you said clan. Mm hmm. And then the second PPC. Also has. Hit. Left, uh, left arm. arm. Takes 10. Uh, piloting roll. Oh, yeah. Can't get better than that. That's as good as you get. Okay. Are you shooting at me with anything else? <clears throat> Who, me? Yeah. Absolutely. Why wouldn't I? No. Oh. Five. No hexes with the executioner. Uh, I can get it done here. Jump. I jumped three, actually. Would you consider Bandito jumping out in front of everybody and getting shot a bunch? A risky maneuver that failed. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't, but I'll give you a plot point for saying that. <laughs> I like the, the gumption of that play. Uh, uh, let's do three large pulse lasers and two ER medium lasers. Everything should be at short range, I think. Five hexes, right? One, two, three, four. Yep. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, so I'm looking at eight, 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 ten, ten. No. No. Yes. Right arm. Large pulse laser worth the damage. No. No. And I get a little bit heated. Probably a lot heated. I fired 40s worth, and then I built three more heat for 43. I gained five points of heat. Mm. 
You guys are up. Uh, it's just me that's left. Yep. I'm going to fire six medium lasers onto the Hellbringer. Uh, all close range, so three, six, seven for rain, then eight for three. Sitting at eight. Medium one. That'll hit. Uh, left, uh, right torso. Takes five. Uh, sorry, who are you shooting at? Hellbringer. Left torso five. Okay. Medium two. That'll hit. Uh, right torso, uh, left torso five. Okay. Medium three. I don't want to miss. Medium four. Miss. Medium five. Miss. It's not. And medium six. That also miss. Oh, these rolls. And I don't have any plot points to see. Sure. Uh, it would have gone through and there's no ammunition there to worry about. Never mind. That is it. So am I a minus one to hit? I'm not sure how it translates in this game. So what? Uh, minus one for skills. <clears throat> for what? For getting hit. For yes, you add one to your shooting. So you're still doing that if you hit yes. once? Okay. Totally the same way. Uh, Masakari. Mm -hmm. I'm going to fire three ERPPCs, I guess. Ew. 23? 23? 23? What do I sound like? Uh, three, four for rain, three for targeting computer, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No. 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 I mean, let me tell you something, guys. I haven't been descriptive enough of what's happening in this forest around Bandito. His avatar jumps in and lands there, and then it's like the 1812 Overture starts playing. Lasers, energy weapons, auto cannons. everything is flying around him in every which direction as he's like, ah, ah! I'm 100% giving this role-playing. Bandito is screaming very loudly, raising his head <laughs> over, <laughs> hands over his head. No. The only possible reaction to this. No. <laughs> Eight, nine, ten. I mean, it's Bandito, so I think his reaction would be pretty much, huh, they missed. Uh, well, that is the Pondo like, reaction. That probably should sure. have been dead from that, but all right. <laughs> and the hex is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I will fire Nova Cat, two ARPPCs, and one ER large laser. At 11s. King Crab is the target. What? <clears throat> Miss. Miss. And it's actually 12. Miss. Mm -hmm. Yes. I spray a whole bunch of stuff and accomplish nothing. I mean, that seems to sum up this entire combat on both sides. <laughs> Look, we, get, we keep getting closer and closer, right? That's how this works. At some point... The targeting numbers are going to become seven or less, and then hits become inevitable. Just like Thanos. Not for us. Especially not for me now. Yeah, you, you've <sighs> seen my rolls, right? <laughs> <sighs> At minimum, if I, if, if I do the smart thing as far as movement goes, I'm shooting at nines. So everyone has shot, correct? Yes. I believe yes. so, yeah. Oh, then... That is it for us for this episode. Uh, some of us are feeling sick, so we're going to call it in early tonight. Just know that as the new year comes around, 
there won't be any episodes for a while. But we'll be back on the second. Is everyone good with the second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As far as like, no, yeah. That's okay. a Thursday, right? Yes. Rasaurus, what do you have yeah. to say for an outro? Hey, um, I had fun tonight. I got to shoot guns. That's Some good. Last last things. week you were distraught. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, it's just you, you know. were on your fainting couch. One <laughs> hand dramatically <laughs> draped over you. I didn't get to fire anything, Arthur. This is the end. It is. <laughs> um. No, yeah, it was a good episode. Um, I got to shoot some guns. I hit some things with those guns. I shoot some more guns and miss some things with those guns. And um, I don't know how well this fight is going. Um... Not that great because they're getting really close. Let me ask yeah, you a question. Do you feel like you've slowed them down at all? No. Uh, no, not then really. Then the fight is not going well for you. Yeah. Um, but I don't know that I have that we have a lot of control over that, right? Like. We've shot at them for two rounds. We, yeah, How we could just, we yeah. have slowed them at this point? I, I would say I have no uh, idea. It's like it was I have no suggestion for that. Slow them I, down right, like, until this point where we got close range. I there, would talk it, to a expert player and get strategy advice from them, which is what I'm going to do and say, how, how do I win a blockade match? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bet that the advice is going to be keep moving. <laughs> Yeah, run forward. It's the you it's have... your side that you need to worry about. How do you stop a mech? I mean, I think we're just gonna have to. Um... I mean, you stop a mech by destroying it. Yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> the whole point of doing these special matches was to not. Uh... Yeah, but if <laughs> but if the enemy team just runs at you, that's true. And <laughs> they, they have the armor to not die yeah, easily if, at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, if okay, if it's not a death match, it's a blockade match but the other team will not be blockaded. They're just going to run forward. Then it really is just kind well, of a death match, right? Bad. Like it's a, it's a race to destroy them before they reach the other side of the... I don't disagree. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of flexible tactical options that you can use in such a match. But I think what it's all going to come down to is a king crab uh, throwing mankind off Hell in a Cell and plummeting him <laughs> 60 feet <laughs> through the announcer's table. And screaming, what a slobber knocker while he does it. <laughs> um yeah no i i'm a i'm a little bit at a loss what the strategy is here other than blow them up which is kind of always the strategy i the only change in strategy is blow the fastest one up first right <laughs> uh other which, than that unfortunately one of the fastest ones is a dire wolf with still a lot of armor yeah mm -hmm. it's not that it's fast it's just that it ignores the bog yeah, stand so. in the way and it's, blow them up i don't know what else considered fast for the situation it's the slowest mech on the entire battlefield yeah, it is yes, a three five movement profile unimpeded it's... by the swamp which has been impeding the other ones it's true <sighs> no i don't i don't know um maybe i'm not thinking about it hard enough but i just don't know what else I don't know what other game mechanics to bring into play to change the um, the we scenario could do here. DFAs, which can <laughs> potentially push them over, or we could do charges to potentially push them over. <sighs> but both options, options require us to jump out in the open where they could just shoot us to death. We and I don't know that we have enough movement speed to effectively charge anything. We could taunt them enough that they want to kill us and not run forward. That's worked pretty well in the past actually i am quite solid. good at pissing people off yeah i mean look at how enraged i made arthur just a minute ago can you charge a mech off the side of the map hmm. i don't know no i don't think so then i don't know then i'm you got you got me Brad's like if i charge you off the map your mech explodes in the process for going out of range for more than five seconds <laughs> yeah <clears throat> you get disconnected for yeah they get disconnected and they, you know they just... <laughs> Plan B is we offer them they an enormous salary and just hire them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's called the no. Russian strategy. It works out a surprisingly large number yeah, of times. We have roughly a hundred percent success rate for that particular <laughs> strategy. <laughs> Oddly enough, even when you're like, "All right, we hired the kid, we got his wolfhound. Now we're gonna secretly kill him and take the wolfhound." <laughs> not, not secretly. 
Yeah, wasn't, that, <laughs> wasn't that much of a secret, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah. He's a pirate. Hello. Yeah. Uh, I know. I keep emphasizing that when I have him talk to McGurk. <laughs> he doesn't know McGurk wanted to assassinate him and take his mat back. So he's just like, you're the best friend I've ever had, fake dad. <laughs> And you're just like, that's right. I love yes. you too, son. Yes, and I it, am. But, <laughs> Don't you forget I that I totally shit. wasn't going to throw you in a prison cell and shoot you in the face. <laughs> I absolutely did not recruit you just to steal your mech from you. Uh, no, yeah. I don't know. Those Russians are still the best best purchase I ever made. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I got, really. Very well. Sit alpha. That in terms of outros. Yeah, hi. I had a, I had a, I had a lot of fun missing tonight. I did a lot of missing, um, which is you know, not out of the ordinary for my type of dice rolling skills. Um, but yeah, had fun hanging out with everyone. It was a blast. Um, I'm sorry that uh, Cotton's still not feeling well. Um, so give me a chance to go snow blow my driveway though. I want to say I was just followed by someone named Cool Bunnings. And that is a very good pun of a medium quality mm -hmm. movie. That is that is an extremely medium quality movie. <laughs> I can't even remember the last time I saw that movie. Oh, it's fantastic! Nineties. I mean, uh, they have the Jamaica "Yes We Can" Coca Cola signs up at the very beginning of the movie. Mm -hmm. Other than that, that's all I've got. Um, I've got more videos coming out uh this either tomorrow or this weekend um other than that we'll see you guys next year that old lame joke i mean we will but okay <sighs> pondo pondo on thursday though right pondo there it is there's the charm what what about me? I don't know. What about you? What about you? I, I just I mean my my thoughts on the thing is we're at the point where we can maybe slow them down. That's if they just flat out just that's if they don't flat out ignore us. Because again, the currently the only ones that can make it at the moment more than likely make it at the moment would be the Star Colonel, since they could ignore Swamp Terrain and that Hellbringer. The Hellbringer would still be a stretch. Uh, he'd still have to just ignore and go straight there. Uh, really, the only things we can do to delay is maybe jump in front of them or charge or BFA them to push them out, essentially. And uh, the state I am at, I'm probably not a good idea to try BFA since I'm at a plus one difficulty. I don't know. It's it's more of a fact that this would be a lot easier and a lot more doable if the mechs were lighter on the other side. Which side? The the clan side. I agree. Yeah, we're we're over we're out tunned and outgunned. It it feels <laughs> like uh it's gonna be real hard to get all the way in there. <laughs> because again, it's essentially they have the armor well most of them, except for the Hellbringer. They have the armor just to ignore us and just go straight to the end of the map, which mm -hmm. again, well, unless the mom, I can one start main... actually landing with my UAC twenty, which that's probably not going to happen. Yeah, the rain does make it tough, but can't do much about that. Clan weapons hurt like shit, as we <laughs> all know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know what to make about this fight. It's of course, it's always up in the air, but it's definitely leaning towards their favor. Yep. As Solely... mid-fight breaks seem to do. Yeah. Uh, it was unfortunate I got the headshot. That That's that's a very brutal thing to have happen. Um, I mean, we could potentially knock over the Wakashi due to it having a critical on its gyro. But again, that's a mech that's clear in the back. We don't really have to worry about making it. That's it for me. Okay. Cotton. Hi, I'm Cotton. 
I doodle and stuff. You can find me on Twitter, AP's Discord. That's all I got. Very well. Friends, countrymen, people from countries that are not my country, lend me your ears. We shall return in the future. On a Thursday. Yes, Sid. As had as it been for 2.1 years, we will return on a Thursday night at 8 Eastern U.S. time. As it has been foretold in the ancient scrolls. <laughs> and so it shall be, for so it was.